So, the family plans to drive their car during the vacation. Um, the car can go 350 miles on a tank of gas, which is 18 gallons. The vacation they have planned will cover 1,785 miles. And so how many gallons of gas will that take? All right. So we kind of, you can go miles um, over gallons equals, you know, how many miles over gallons? M-I-G-A-L, same thing, right? M-I is miles, short for miles. So, so 300 and, let's see, 50 miles for um, one tank of gas, which is 18 gallons, right? And that's going to be, um, the journey is 1785 miles on how many gallons we don't know, right? So we can cross multiply and get 350 times x equals 18 times 1785, right? And um, we could multiply and then divide and yeah, there's a this is a bit messy, isn't it? What I'm going to do is I'm going to divide right away. I'm going to divide by 350 on both sides, and that will help me. That will help me get x on its own. What's that? Right. And you could multiply that in, but it might be a little bit better to just try to do a bit of dividing first. And I know that 5 will go into this and this number because this ends in 5, this ends in 0. So 5 into 17 goes, how many times? 3, yeah, remainder 2. 5 into 28, 5, remainder uh, 3. Yep, because 28, 28 minus 25 is 3. And 5 into 35 is... Yeah. 11, right. And down here, 5 into 35... Is 7, yep. And 5 into 0... Uh, 5 to 0, 0, right? Yep. So, I mean, just simplify it a little bit. Um, still a bit of work to do here, because at the end of the day, I, I can't see anything that will easily cross-cancel. So, I think I'm going to have to multiply and then divide with long division. So, so a lot of arithmetic here. 3, 5, 7 times 18. 8, 7 is 56. Carry 5. 8 fives is 40 and 5 is 45, carry 4. 8 threes, 24 and 4 is 28. Put down a 0, multiply by 1. 7, 5, 3, and then add. So 6, and that's 12, carry 1. And that's 14, carry 1, and that's 6, right? So I have this over 70, so I know that what 6, 4, 2, 6 over 70, and I can do long division now, right? Right? So 70 into 6, 4, 2. Well, 10 sevens is 700, isn't it? Right. So it's almost like 7 into 6. What's 7 into 64? 64. Right. So it's, it's 9 times because, you know, it's, it's, it's almost 70, right? Yeah, because 9 seven sixty three. That's all right. So 9 zero zero and 9 sevens. That's all right. Yep, 
Right. So, so, right. So we have, so, oh, oh, you've already done it. So two minus, three, that's, you're, okay, good. Four minus three is one, good. And bring six down. Okay, so 70 into 136 is like, it's kind of like, almost like 7 into 12, or something like, or 7 into 13. So that's, that you're guessing once, good. So, um, 1 times 70 is, well, it's 70. And then subtract, and um, we get 56, yeah. And I'm going to put, like I say, put a point zero on here. So I can bring that down. The answer we've got to, oh, it doesn't say where to round to. Well, let's just do one more anyway. Um, so 70 into 50, 560, what do we get? Put, put, just hold off the zeros and, and do it now. What's 7 into 56? There you go, see that? No, you know, I have an hard time. You just, just need to take, do the steps. You know, it's, you don't have, just do the steps like that. See, that looks harder and that looks easier. See that? <laughs> anyway, 7 and 56 is 8, yeah. So 8 zeros is 8, and 8 sevens, 56, right? And so remainder, remainder 0. Perfect, yep, great. So, and, and that range is, so we've really got it now, so it is in fact x equals 91.8 watts. What did we find? Yep. Yep. Alright, so that was a lot of calculation there. Good job.